hello, hello. How are y'all? So I'm here to show you guys, let me get my little apron all fixed. I am here to show you a couple of Magnolia's great designs. So I'm Laura Conley. I'm a creator with Magnolia Design Company. Y'all, I love these details. I love all these pretty fonts. So let me show you the one we're gonna do today. Oh, and most importantly, day 12 deals are now. So you can buy two cute, cute stencils and get one free. The free one will be equal or lesser value. So choose your favorites and add them in groups of three and you'll get a free one each time from every two you purchase. Okay, so let me show you what we're gonna work on. So this is one of our beautiful, beautiful little trays. It's actually not little, it's a 12 by 18. Uh, it looks like this out of the package. It's a lovely farmhouse look of brown. Um, but this tray is one of my very, very favorite um, surfaces that I've tried so far. And I love that it's it can be very versatile, okay? So, uh, I didn't paint the back yet, but look, the back is super nice. You could totally put something on the back if you wanted. And look, the way these handles are, y'all, it could totally be switched around however you want. But the way we're gonna use it, <coughs> excuse me, is since it's super lightweight, we're gonna use it as a signboard. So, I think it will make a great signboard but I think it could still, if we leave, I was gonna just trim this off. I was gonna just, you know, and then fill the hose and do it. But I think it can just go underneath and in the back and we'll see at the end. Y'all let me know what you think. But I think it could totally be a, ha a hanging sign or it could be a tray. Uh, if it's gonna be a tray, I'd probably seal it afterward. The chalk paste will dry super, super uh, hard but I would still seal it in case I got any spills on it if I'm gonna use it as a tray. Uh, Magnolia makes great paste and inks and lots of other stuff. So let me show you a couple other things we're gonna use, maybe, I don't know. I haven't decided on colors on there yet. So of course we need our squeegee. But y'all, let me show you one of my favorite, a package of my favorite tools. Uh, these are little squeegees on a stick, basically. <laughs> so. They will help you get into little bitty places, but not only that, you can like remove little things. So like if you get paste somewhere you don't want, these these are your best friends. <laughs> They're so fun. They're so easy to use. We're gonna use an old chippy brush because we're gonna do a little dry brush on the edges. And I'll need some white paint. This is just white chalk paint. And I don't know, I'm thinking for a farmhouse look, I want this to totally be all done in white. Um, I was going to dry brush the whole tray and then do it all in black, but I'm kind of leaning toward doing it all in white. So I don't know. We might switch. So the two that I picked out, this is glittering white chalk paste, and this is the brilliant white. So beautiful magnolia paste that works so nicely, dries quickly, but hard. Okay. So, um, the glittering is a little bit, it's more kind of has more of a off-white grayish feel to me. Uh, you can see in here, they both look very similar, but you can also, if you can look closely, it'll show you that the, the brilliant white on this side is a very bright white. That's usually what I go with, but I did some pretty things the other day with the brilliant white, and it has a little softer touch, but it's pretty pretty. Okay, so let's get going. So I just painted this top, y'all. And I just used some gray uh, chalk paint. But now I want to sand it a little bit. I like to sand stuff so that it has, this is just a little handheld sander with a pretty fine grip. Uh, I like it because it's gonna, it's gonna pull that wood grain out. It's gonna let you see a lot of that. And you can totally sand back to your wood. So we're gonna, but the main reason is because these beautiful, beautiful Magnolia stencils are so detailed and they have a very sticky back. So we want that back to come back off of there. And so we're gonna also put it on this little tacky cloth. And y'all, I don't, I don't, I think I've renamed our tacky cloth, okay? At least for Christmas, because uh, 
it does remove the tack a little bit on the bottom. But it sounds to me like, oh, tacky. So, <laughs> so, if you know me, I'm like, uh-uh, we're not calling it tacky because I love it. So, it, uh, one of my customers the other day said, it looks, that's, that's Grinch green. So, it's now our Grinch cloth for Christmas. So, after we do this, let me get back to my, let me get back to an order. Because <laughs> if you ever watch me live, you know that's a hard thing for me to stay in order because... That creative mind thing, it just kind of pops all around. So I'm just gonna get this extra uh, dust off of there. That's all I'm doing. So, uh, let me move all that over. Okay, now let's get our little, so you're gonna just peel this off. If you want, you can peel half of this at a time, or you can peel the whole thing off and put it on your cloth. This one is about the same size. So let's go ahead and peel the whole thing off. These are very sticky, and so it's it's going to be nice and sticky, so you can use it more than once. But after I finish, you guys, I'm just going to put this in my, you guys, are you guys from the South? <laughs> you guys? So, after I finish this, I am going to put my stencil into the water. I'm going to put that right over there, because I'm going to use that again. So, after you finish, if you haven't tried these, and you should, because, oh my gosh, they're so great. Uh, they're gonna make you look so good. You're gonna peel it off and you're gonna go, ooh, look at that. Look what I did. <laughs> so, uh, this is just to get it a little less sticky because we want it to peel back off our wood. Now, I am good with it being so sticky that it pulls a little bit of my paint off my wood because that's really a look I go for a lot. So, don't be alarmed if it does that. But this is, this is to prevent it. And you could also put a little bit of wax on it. Magnolia makes a wax as well. And so you can pick that up in your day five. Day five deals. <laughs> I did day five as well. So I'm like, day five deals. Day 12 deals. <laughs> or just any time. So don't forget, today is the 12th day of their amazing Christmas deals, y'all. Uh, we're all going to be having soup next week because we've all bought so much because it's so good it's so good and we were all laughing about it and <laughs> saying okay soup for everyone <laughs> we're like it's worth it we want all the good stuff so I'm just gonna kind of fan this onto my board and I'm gonna make mine go down just a little bit lower you could center it perfectly in here because this is a 12 by 18 and that is the same size of the stencil but I'm going to pull mine down just a little bit and center it on the sides because I want a little bit extra up here at the top because I might add just a little greenery. Even though this is a tray, I think it could still be very pretty. And so I think that's what we're going to do. So let's do this and let's see. Let me turn this around so we can see. I've got that side off just a little bit. So I'm just going to fan this again. And you can just lightly, and then when I get it where I want it to be, I'll press it down. And let's see. I need it. So it pretty much just fits perfectly, except I'm bringing mine down a little lower than you might. But because I want to put a little greenery up there, and I still want all the pretty design. I love this, y'all. This little border is so, so pretty. And then um, all of the design, but... We don't want to lose anything of the pretty. So what I like to do after I get it in place, I kind of make sure. Then I start in the middle and I press mine down. And that usually keeps you from having any air bubbles. And so now I'm going to do that one this way. And that nice sticky back is going to hold it in place. And why didn't we think of this years ago, y'all? This is so genius. And I forgot to even tell you, if you, you probably already know this, but there are little silk screens in here. This is not an open cut. I'll show you again here in a second. Uh, it is not an open cut that you're going to just uh, be able to uh, potentially make it a mess. These are like, hmm, very genius. So we're going to just squeegee the white paste. Let me make sure I've got that all down pretty well. We're gonna just squeegee the white paste. Let me give you another little tip too. So if you if you are changing your colors, so the paste dries pretty fast, and especially when you're in an area like in my uh, studio that's pretty warm, uh, you can do it just a little bit at a time and then you can like peel that up. 
Then you can bring it on down, do a little bit more. This one, we may peel a little bit just so you can see, but I'm gonna use all white. I want a nice gray and white farmhouse look. And then our little bit of greenery is gonna give us our little bit of color. So, okay, that feels like it's all down. So I'm just gonna start at the top and we're gonna use this brilliant white. And usually you'll wanna give it a little stir and make sure that it is nice and creamy and it is. Now you wanna also keep your the top of your jars clean and I'm a better say than I do or <laughs> on that. I'm bad about not putting my paste, but your paste will last longer if you push it back down in your jar when you're finished. But see, it's very creamy. So we're just gonna start at the top I'm just gonna put that in my water and I'm just gonna dip in a little bit at a time. And then I'm gonna show you what I was talking about, about peeling it up. That way you don't have to, you could do this with a bigger squeegee and totally do it all super fast. But I'm gonna show you uh, our little at a time thing. So I'm gonna put on more than I need because we can take it back off. And you could use a little stir stick for that or whatever. But this way, I'm gonna have plenty to scoot around and that makes it nice. It lets you move the paste around where you want it. And then you can just take off all that extra, y'all. It's so easy. And seriously, it just makes you look so good. And you're just like, whew, I did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down about halfway. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about, peeling it up. Let me get just a little bit more. I mean, seriously, you can go in all these directions as long as you have that pressed down nice and tight. It is not gonna go anywhere. So I'm gonna stop right around here and I'll come back and do that other. Okay, so we're just gonna swipe off our extra paste and you want to do this, like I say, at a pretty quick pace because you want your paste to dry after you pull this, ah! <laughs> after you pull this, ah! Oh. After you pull this silk screen off, pull this stencil off and they are silk screens. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right there and we'll come back and do this part in a second. So you wanna peel that off so that, and you wanna peel straight down. Let's see what it's, oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. It is so, so pretty. I know you're gonna see it upside down, but I still want you to see it. But isn't that gorgeous? That is so, so pretty. Okay, so you can see where I stopped there. So I'm not gonna press this back down. I'm just gonna let it lightly lay there but I am gonna press back down right here where I haven't where I haven't spread the paste yet. So I'm just gonna right up to that edge. And y'all, if you're not messy, you're not a crafter anyway. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> my friend my friend James will be like, oh girl, how many boo-boos? I'm like, I don't know, at least five. So, it was a good day. <laughs> so, y'all, I love, love, love all these products. I love creating and sharing with y'all. So I was thrilled to get to come and show you one of Magnolia's beautiful stencils. And so there's so many other things too, like on day five, I got to show you uh, some of the beautiful transfers. They're so pretty too. Had a cute, cute Santa. Okay, mix and match all your fun, y'all. So I'm gonna pull all this extra back off. And like I say, you could use a bigger squeegee, but as you're taking it off, kind of look and see if you got everything. And y'all, I'm not pressing hard. And here's a little spot I can see through the screen and I'm just gonna catch it. Don't press hard, you don't have to. It's easy, you're just swiping across and then you're gonna just remove all this extra. And then I'm gonna put this into my little jar of water right there. And I'm gonna peel the rest of this back off. Oh, you're gonna wanna see this. You ready? Oh my gosh, y'all. So that's gonna go into my water, but I gotta show you this first because, ah, yeah, yeah, it is so pretty. Okay, how quick and easy is that? And how beautiful. And, you know, we just kind of, just kind of whip that out. And, oh, look at the font, y'all. I love, love the fonts. So I think one other thing that I'm gonna do is after this dries, I'm also going to do a little paint splatter on top because I think that'll make it just even a little more festive. But look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, I've got a little pan of water over here. It's actually a cat litter pan. 
They're the perfect size. So I'm gonna put this in there and it'll be dissolving my paste off of there and it'll be ready for me to wash off. And when it's dry, I just put it right back on my backing sheet, the little white backing sheet that I saved. And <laughs> y'all, this is so pretty. Look at all those pretty fonts and those little deer. Ah, uh, the details, the details are amazing. Okay, let me use my little, one of my little squeegee brushes here right quick. And I'm gonna push my, push my paste back in there because your paste will last so much longer. So these little squeegee brushes, y'all, they are fantastic. I don't know how I've ever lived without them. So you can push all your little paste back in there and then I'll just wipe this off. Okay, put your lid back on there. Keep your paste from drying out. Look at my lid's crooked, I believe. So anyway, as y'all are looking at this, um, I'm creating it live, but then it's going to be played live to you um, in Magnolia's Facebook page. And, but I'll be there to answer questions. So if you have any questions about anything, and um, just pop them in there, tell me what you think. Uh, usually, I'm used to doing lives and I always ask everybody what they think. Now, I don't always do it, but I do ask. <laughs> I am polite enough to ask. So let's dry this right quick. Y'all, this is super lightweight. And so, uh, you know, I have a little bit of issues with, with a hand. So this is a perfect for a tray, perfect for a wall hanging any of those things because it is nice and lightweight wood and it will just fit this transfer and if you want to do something on the back remember I showed you that at the front you can paint your back paint it white if you want if you get the kit that has this I believe it has the Christmas trees um, stencil with it and that would be so so pretty on here as well I want this one because I think it will be lovely for the wall, but yet uh, if I decide to do something else on the back, I can. So I'm just going to give this a quick dry, and then we're going to do a little dry brush on the sides and probably around the edges, and we're going to do a little bit of paint splatter. Now when I learned to paint, paint splatter. <laughs> It was wild, y'all. <laughs> I would move everything. <laughs> but I think I'm getting better at it. You would think it would be a simple thing, but no. <laughs> it wasn't, apparently, for me. It was wild. Uh, so that feels like it's about dry. But I don't want to smudge anything until... I don't want to mess with it until it dries. Because, you know... I can mess it up. And I don't want to because it's so lovely. Y'all, I don't know which font I like best because they're all just so perfect. So they are absolutely exactly what they should be. Okay, so let me get a little bit. We're gonna need a little bit of white paint. And I always, my friend Tina told me to wet my toothbrush when I couldn't get this figured out. So I'm gonna dip that in my water. Y'all may know more about this little splatter business than I do. Let me just tell you that. And we're going to need some white paint. This is just some white chalk paint. And I'm looking for something to pop it onto. I don't think I have a plate in here. But I'll just put it on a piece of paper. Oh, you know what? One of the things that when I... Some of my little backing sheets for the stencils, they're a, they're a kind of a waxy feel to them. They're perfect to put some paint on. They're like a little palette paper. So let's just... Put us a little pile of white there. That's probably like way too much. But remember, wet your wet your brush. But you don't want it like pouring water. Just kind of, you know, kind of wet. And then I'm just going to get all messy, y'all. The fun part. <laughs> the absolute fun part. So I'm just going to put a little splatter on here to make our little snowy scene even more so oh my gosh y'all i love this design and look how pretty it is all splattery you can do a little heavier snow oh my gosh i love it so much <laughs> so i don't care if i get a little bit up here because i'm going to actually i think i'm going to dry brush a little up there so whoops don't get in my paint let me show you what it looks like so far so we're just adding a little splatter. 
I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to get a little bit more water on my brush, even though it's going to make my paint a little drippy right there. I'm going to dab it off just a little bit on that paper. But y'all, I love this and I think it is a little, a little um, splatter is like just exactly what it needs to add that little something something, a little finishing touch. We're always adding that little something something. So I love some gray and white. So this makes me incredibly happy. <laughs> Y'all, all of Magnolia, their designs make me incredibly happy. I love them. Oops. Okay, we got a little dab there. <laughs> Let's get that little scooped up. Not a big deal. Got to keep my paint in control. So let me touch that just real quick with this, with this um, cloth. And then... I'm gonna do one real, really fine swipe of paint there just to put our paint back. And if you if you need to do that sometime, the key is to make it just a little bit bigger than a dot. Like don't just daub it, you know, kind of make a long, little bit longer swipe. And this is gonna dry the same color. If I use the same color, it is. Right now it's gonna look a little lighter, but it's gonna dry the same color because this is the same gray. It'll just dry a little lighter, but I kind of spread it out so it wouldn't look like I just painted one area. And now we're gonna go ahead and just continue with our little, our little splatter. We'll put a little more splatter right there. And when that dries, you won't even know. You'll be like, what, where did that go? So we'll just do a little splatter right there too because I know it's gonna dry the same color. And I think we're good. I think our snow looks good. What do y'all think? I think that's I think that's just about right. So I'm gonna put my brush back in there. Wear a little white paint. <laughs> and now we're gonna use the same white paint though. Let me make sure that lid is on good. And then we'll dry all this. So this is just one of my old chippy brushes, a little two inch. Uh, seriously, beat up the more beat up the better for dry brushing. So I'm just gonna swipe a little bit of paint onto the ends and I'm gonna actually get most of that back off, okay? So you don't want it to be thick. If you haven't dry brushed before, don't be worried because it's not a big deal and you really are not gonna go wrong, but you just don't want to like paint it heavily. It should just show up with just a little bit. So you can see it's gonna kind of pull your wood grain. You can do it much heavier if you want it to be much heavier and let me pull that string out. But I wanted you to see you can just do a little bit as well. So that's usually that's usually about what I do if I want it to be light. But I may make that a little darker. I usually start out real light. And then I'm gonna show you how I do around the sides too here in a little bit. So I'm just gonna do both of these top little tray edges. And so this one's gonna be a little heavier. But you can see I'm not painting like the whole thing. And then you can just take like the edge of your brush and literally just slide it along and give that nice little dry brush effect. I'll do it over here so you can see. And if it needs a little more after you look at it, that's what I always like to do. I like to take a look at it. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on this top but I'm not painting it, I'm just, I am painting it, but you know what I mean, I'm not painting it. I'm waving my brush at you. <laughs> so, but you can do it as heavy or as light as you want. Let me turn this around and check out that side. Okay, let me put, I'll let you see that side and I'll, in the top and the bottom, and that will dry super fast. And I'm liking how this is coming out, I hope y'all are. So let me know in the comments if you like it. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on this side by using a little bit more of the tips of my brush, but I'm still doing it super light. I want it just to drag. It gives that old weathered, weathered look. So sometimes y'all know, like on my other video I did where it had a chippy look and I chipped off some of the paint. This is more of a softer weathered kind of look, but it's still kind of a nice vintage farmhouse feel. You can do these edges in here just a little bit if you want, or you can leave them, whatever you want. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna lightly touch them. I got a little uh, speckle in there, so I kinda like that. So that is what it's gonna kinda look like. Let's see how this side is. Our brush, dr our br <laughs> my brush is super dry now. It's a cross between brush and, and dry, my brush. It's super dry now. So I'm gonna just 
uh, swipe just a little bit here just to make kind of a, some rough texture. Just showing how the different kind of textures you can get. But you, if you keep your brush really dry, it kind of does all the work for you. So, okay, so there's that side. So you can see it. And there's the whole front. So what do y'all think? I'm thinking I like it. You can add a little more dry brush to it if you want. So this is just one of the many beautiful stencils that are on sale, y'all. Uh, buy two and get one free of equal or lesser value. And this is day 12 of the 12 days of Christmas deals. So I hope you got lots of deals like I did. Um, and uh, had as much fun as I did. So when this gets dry, if I'm going to um, use it as a tray, because simply you can, if you want to use it as a wall hanging, you can see the rope can be used as the wall hanging. The rope on the bottom can be tucked back behind super easy. And you can have a wall hanging or definitely a beautiful tray. So depending on what you want to do with it, this is one of my favorite, favorite surfaces. Um, and so we're all ready. Uh, I would seal this with like a clear matte sealer, like Krylon is my favorite. Uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't yellow your design. So when it all dries, you are all done and ready to move on to your next design. So don't forget my, uh, stencil is in the water over there. So as soon as I get through here, I'm going to rinse it off, let it dry, and then I'll put this backing sheet back on. Okay, and then one other thing I wanted to show you, and then I'll be done, is if you want to add a little bit of greenery up here, that's why I lowered that down. So if you're going to hang it, let me give you just a little idea of what it can look like. So this is just some little, this would be great if you're do, using this for a, um, I'm not going to put it on yet because I'm going to seal it, but it would be great even for your tray. Uh, it'll be all nice and sealed. Add a little bit of your favorite greenery right in here, however you want it. And y'all look how pretty. So as a wall hanging, look how gorgeous that would be. It would be so, so pretty. And then as a tray, you can totally um, use the tray anywhere else. And you can leave this off if you want and make your design a little bit to the top. But that's kind of what I had going. But I'm not gonna do it tonight because I really wanna seal it. So it gives you options, y'all. So, okay, I hope that you love this. I hope that you uh, got a lot of great designs for you. And I'm going to get a lot of great designs for me and my customers too. So thank you all for hanging out with me. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I'm always happy to answer. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, y'all.